In this video, we have three different shoe customs that I think you'll love. One, Frida. Two, ducklings. Three, color changing daisy flowers. And also for you customizers, stay to the end for a bonus tip on how to properly tape the toe box of your Air Force Ones for painting. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Orlando. Welcome to Wall of Hype, where we showcase artists that can take plain kicks like Air Force Ones, Jordans, cleats, vans, and turn them into customs that sneaker heads love. But before I start, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. We have links to all featured artists and their work in the description below. Our first goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, check out this Frida portrait. The design is a Frida Converse Custom. The designer from Poland, Magdalena Customs. The shoe, a Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star High Tops. This shoe caught my eye. This portrait is just ridiculous. You can just look at the details, whether you're looking at the portrait, whether you're looking at the flowers, the leaves, the textures, the shading, just the highlights, everything about this design is just marvelous. I really don't have any words. I'm stuck. Just to me, this could be a shoe that was just printed. Uh, the design was just printed and slapped on there. But this was done by hand, by paint, by just pure creativity um, and talent. I don't even know what else to say, guys, but this is just magnificent. I can't even comprehend the amount of time that was taken to get this design done. For her, maybe this was something quick and easy, but for my hands, this, just setting up the color palette for this is, is just, ooh, it's ridiculous. So again, kudos, great job. Next we have another custom by Sab1, the design, Ducklings, SB Blazer. The shoe customized is a Nike SB Blazer. Now this design was inspired by the famous bronze ducks created by Nancy Sion, located in the Public Garden in Boston. This looked like it was done with a few colors, airbrush, and the paintbrush. You can just look at the overall design, that bronze look, it's looked like it's going to turn into that copper green. It's just ridiculous. You got it at the bottom of the shoe. You have it next to the Nike swoosh. You have it up in certain places of the lace guard. You have it on the tongue tag. Love the back. You got that green, the dark green copper color. Looks like it's just gonna explode from the back. It's just freezing over. Um, and then, you know, the little outlines of ducks. Great touch. We also have a custom insoles. Personally, I need to look into how these things are done, but you can just see we have the artwork of a policeman stopping traffic just for the ducks to get through. Beautiful sketch. And then on the other side, a duck just quacking or queeping. We can also see the color change in the outer sole. Another great design from Sab1. Finally, we have a daisy flower color changing Vans custom from designer Delisi Creative. Shoe customized was a Vans slip on. I picked this design because it's creative and something that a lot of people just need to see. It's not easy, but it's beautiful. Take a look at the daisy flowers, the textures, the highlights, the shadows. I love how the petals are just flying off all around the shoe, front, sides, beautiful design. But then you have that color changing purple. 
looks like water splashing, raindrops, dew, just, it's, that is more organic than I've ever seen. That just feels organic, the way the water splashes. So I'm curious on how this was created. I'm sure it was by hand with similar to watercolors, but just take a look at the, the different dots, how they were placed. It's a fun and unique touch to some vans that I know a lot of people would love. It has its own unique creative style. Great job, Delisi. Love your work. Now for our bonus content. This comes from designer Leo Garcia, LGR Customs. How to properly tape the toe box on your Air Force Ones for painting. Let's take a look at the video. You have the tape going down. You crease up the lines, you get a blade, you cut right above the leather. And then with a simple flathead screwdriver, you push the tape underneath the leather. Gives you crisp, clean lines. You're only painting the surface of the toe box. You're not painting into the front leather piece. On the toe, that will stay white. If you decide to change the color of the toe separately, you're able to by making sure that tape is separating the base of the toe box versus uh, the actual toe strip. When I first saw this, I thought it was genius. I didn't know. I thought it would have been the normal tape and cut, but now I see how those different panels are kept clean and not touched and painted because then you have to go back in and repaint those colors if you messed up. So thank you, Leo, for showing us this tip. I'm sure it's going to help a lot of customizers on their journey on designing. That's it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel. Comment below and let us know if the bonus content was helpful or which one of these custom kicks is your favorite. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video from Wall of Hunt.